This is um, I don't know if it's St Clair, it's Bradford, Bradfield St Clair. Open at the weekends. Oh, lucky I've got here then. I think they were cleaning. Bradfield St. Clair's. The St. Clair's of Bradfield were a Norman family of honourable but not noble lineage. Not but were lords of the manor here throughout the 13th century. They held much, but not all, of the land in the parish called St. Clair's Bradfield and Bradfield St. Clair. No lords of the manor, they were something patrons of the parish per church which they did much to improve and maintain. Right, I'll have to. I'll have to um, copy that because uh, I can't. I've got my glasses on. <sighs> Brian Manning presented. To I'm going to have to go and get my glasses, everyone, because there's a lot to read there. I'll just do a little bit, just mention the Stutfields and all sorts. So I really need to go and get my glasses on, but I'll just do a video because somebody might turn up. I can do the reading in a minute. Old Terrell Kneelers, beautiful, beautiful gross point kneelers at the Ulta Rail depicting the church and many of the houses in the parish were designed, worked and given to the church by Mr George Inslee and dedicated on the 15th of February 1976. Ah, that's that, those there, look. It's always nice that someone's um, does it, isn't it? So we've got Stutville's, Isaacson's and the Clare's mentioned there. That's why I knew I had to come here. St. Clair of Assisi, 1191 to 1253, friends of St. Francis, patron saint of embroiderers. Wow. You are invited to sit a while, be still, and know the peace of this ancient holy place. There's the um, commandments. Number six, thou shalt not do murder. Eight, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit adultery. Honour your father and your mother. Um, and there's quite a few actually, I can't remember them all. This was probably puritanised, like I said, if it's an ancient church or the stained glass has gone out, apart from little tiny green bits around the edge in. And there's interesting plaques up there. Some wooden carving. It's very well maintained, this church, I must admit. Last time I came, people were cleaning. Looks like it's had 
new timbers over the centuries. But it's always handy to do the video first because you can't really video when people are about. So you can't really do it properly because of confidentiality, getting people in the video. And sometimes it's, it's better when I don't speak. Now those beams there They look very old. They do. I mean, the plastering in the ceiling might have done, but that bit's there, for example, all that. That part of the ceiling looks very, very old. And it's probably been treated, but this bit is the new bit, look. Or an extension. I mean, the church might have just been a small chapel once. No signs of any tombs, but there could be under the carpet. But there's, like I said, mention of Stuttvilles on the, on that board up there. In honour and to the memory of the lads who gave their lives to their country in the Great War, 1940-1918. You've got William Stutley, Harold Pendred, Fred Ford, Henry Friend, George Brown... And then 1939 to 45, Charles Savage and George Armstrong. Today, Private H. Friend, 9th Battalion, the Suffolk Regiment, died Sunday the 5th of March at 1916. Now, we have got people in our tree. See so that they're mentioning all the regiment in here. Um... Brooks, who uh, might, he might even be in here. I don't think so there, but we have got a Brooks from Brinkley. We've got loads of people that died in the war actually, but a Brooks of Brinkley. Right, I'm just going to sign off for a minute. Walk slowly up first. So I need to go and get my glasses. I'll do an outside video as well. No pillars. No pillars. That's quite a small little church, but looks old. Lots of features look very old. The archway up there, for example. That big arch there. It's got a tower as well, don't forget. <laughs>